you babies doing? I've been doing good once again. So, how are you babies loving my blonde hair? Is it a yay or is it a nay? You know, let me know what you babes think. I have wanted to try out a glitter bombshell retro vintage burlesque look and I want to do some glitter eyes with glitter lips. And just to show you babes how I do it, which is so just very, very, very plain Jane. I'm not all into the new high tech stuff. You know, I'm old school, so I try to do everything simple so it doesn't get too complicated. I've been trying to re record this and re record this forever, and it's taken me forever, but I finally got it right. Oh, thank God, right? So, oh my God, and oh man, I just can't get over how she is amazing with wigs. If you bid love vintage retro wigs from the 30s all the way to the 80s, she is your girl. I will link her in the description box below. These jewels belong to my grandmother. Um, this is her ring, this is her ring, her necklace. These earrings are from Aldo. And I'm going to be extra tonight, you know, and show you babies how extra I can be. And I'm wearing a pink uh, corset, satin corset with my pink little backdrop. I love pink, if you babies just must, I'm sure you babies know, I adore pink. So yes, if you babies wanna see this burlesque, uh, vintage burlesque look with the pink glitter, please keep watching. First things first, loves, I've already did my eyebrows, I've already put primer on my eyelids, and I've already did my foundation and powder and everything. So now I am putting some tape, and I am putting it on the edge of my eyes uh, to do a cut crease. I feel like it makes it more, you know, more even, and it will make things look more better. Next, I'm taking LA Colors. You can get this at your local CVS, Walmart, Walgreens, or Dollar, dollar Store. <laughs> and then I am putting the light, the lightest color on my lids. I feel that is like um, the base for the cut crease I'm trying to do. Um, I use the little sponge brush that does come with it because I feel like it, it packs on more of a nice color um, on my lids. I really don't like a regular brush. I feel like it leaves a lot of fallout when it's just a regular brush. So I do use the pack, um, the little sponge brush that does come with it. I'm sorry, I just think those work way better than the other brushes or my finger. Now I'm taking that and those two colors, the lightest and the second, and I'm going back and forth over my lid. After I did that, I am taking this uh, color and, cho and the chocolate bar by Too Faced and I'm putting that on my lids too. And um, yeah, I'm just putting it all over my lids and I'm just covering each every uh, part of my eyelid where I want it to be covered. I do have some um, close set eyes and my eyes is also, um, I have droopy, kind of droopy lids so I have to keep going over it so I can make sure it's nice and even. And make sure, babes, you guys push on the tape because sometimes it can come off and it won't, you know, give you the cut crease. Next, I'm taking this other palette and I am using the lightest, glitteriest color. And I am putting that on the very tippy top of the crease, the cut crease, to give it uh, more of a dimension so it can, it can look more separate than the other color. Then I'm taking Too Faced and um, natural eye and I'm putting the color lap dance on my lid and that's going to be the very last um, top part I put on my lid so it can like you know make it ombre effect where it's really frosty pink at the top now I'm taking my Varani palette and it is a glitter palette and I am taking the lightest pinkest glitter right here and I'm going to put it on my lids so I take this little brush. Now this is the same little brush I used in my last tutorial for my lips. I just took the red glitter off, but I'm using this. I feel that that is the best. The little brushes are the best brushes to use for um, little glitter looks that you want to do for your lips, eyes, um, makeup wise. And then I'm going back over to my other eyelid and I'm doing the same exact steps that I did with that eyelid. 
and I'm just going back and forth. Um, like I said, I'm taking the LA colors and I'm just putting the first lightest pinkish color and the second pinkish color and putting it on my lids. Then I'm taking the chocolate bar palette and I'm putting it on my lips, uh, lips, <laughs> lids. By the way, the chocolate bar palette is um, by Too Faced. I'm sure you babes know about that. Then I'm taking this pretty glittery palette, which I forgot the name, but I will put in the description box on my lids. Then I am taking another Too Faced palette, and I am taking the Color Lab Dance, like I did with the other um, eyelid, and I'm doing the same step. Hopefully, babes, I am showing you guys a better way on um, how to apply this stuff. Or if maybe if I'm, you know, if I can do a better technique, maybe you babes can show me or tell me. Um, another thing is I'm, I'm using the variety palette again and I'm just doing the same steps. Um, another thing too is I also like to have a fan going when I do my makeup. So if you guys hear a little noise in the background, it is my fan because I like to uh, be cool when I'm under the studio lights and stuff. Um, I'm hoping I'm showing you babes a better way to apply um, how I apply my makeup. Um, on here because sometimes I have my mirror cover now last part I am taking the tape off and do you see how sharp and cut that you know that look is and how do you guys love my little eyelash uh, palette um, container I got it from AliExpress it's so cute and pink and as you guys know pink is my favorite color pastel light pink as in my background um, yeah, so I'm taking some duo glue and I'm just putting my lashes on. I also like to bend them and kind of, um, I cut the corners, bend them, and I like to make them try to fit my whole lash, uh, my, my natural lash line, but it is kind of hard. I feel like these can get a little irritating to put on and take off, but anyway, yeah, so I'm just doing that to the other one. And I'm making sure I cover each and every corner of the lash and I put it on. I also like to put on mascara before I put on my lashes. And then after I set my lashes and have them exactly the way I want, where they're not lifting in the front and I don't have to put a glob of lash glue on, I like to make sure I put mascara after I'm done putting on the lashes. I know that's like a big lash no no but I like to put them at least under my lashes so um um so it can look nice and uh nice and put together and there is some glitter fallout so the only thing I don't like about glitter is just the fallout that you it, it gets everywhere if you're not careful so yeah if you see this you know I'm just fixing the glitter off my face and I'm um, trying to make sure that you know it doesn't mess up the look that I'm trying to do sorry my son was asking me a question <laughs> he always loves to ask me questions when I'm doing my uh, tutorials so yeah that's it and I am taking another little brush and I am going over it my uh, my little uh, brush and I'm just taking the excess you know makeup or excess glitter off I feel the little brushes I showed you babes last time work wonders I love these brushes they get everything off I don't have to like go and get up and get little extra stuff i can just use one of these little brushes and get everything off it's like a mini little face brush and i i'm living for these and when i tell you babes to get these i just i don't know what you babes are waiting for you guys should really get these because they will really help with your makeup even more and they fix it up you know and i like to bring and they're easy to be discreet and hide them in your purse uh, that's why i love them and i like to you know have them in my purse or my makeup kit so yeah next i'm using uh lash by benefit and i'm just putting it under my lashes i like um old mascara if that makes sense i like how uh how thick older mascara can kind of get i don't know if that's like a good thing 
but I like the way it makes my lashes look. It just makes them look more thicker and, um, you know, put together, especially if your lash kind of wants to lift. It like It's like a safety, you know, net for your lash to not lift. <laughs> So yeah, that's what I like to use. I also like to use um, some Maybelline um, mascara. I have to show you guys my mascara collection because I have a lot of mascara. So yeah, that's it. Next, I am taking my Wet n Wild eyeliner in your, and I am eyelining the tip, the very top of my eyelid. I try to start in the middle. And I just work my way across. Like I said, go thick or go home. I love thick eyeliner. But with this look, I don't want to do too much thick eyeliner. Because I don't want it to cover all the glitter and hard work I did on that. So yeah, I'm just eyelining my eyes with my Wet n Wild Niore. You can get this anywhere. Um, even online. I love this eyeliner. Let me know, babes, if you guys recommend any other eyeliners or other eyeliner looks I should do. Then I'm doing my Marilyn Monroe Beauty Mark. Now I'm using, I'm using the uh, glitter lip kit that I used in my last tutorial. Um, I am, I am gonna. Uh, my bad. First, let me overline my lips because I love overlining. I'm using Wet n Wild uh, red pencil in Berry Red and I am overlining my lips. I tried making a cute little cupid's bow but it just wasn't happening for me. I feel I have no lips really. So yeah, that's it. And once I am completely satisfied and done with my red lips, now I am going to uh, take that the shimmery uh, glitter uh, lipstick part of the lip kit and I'm just putting that on my lips after that I'm just gonna put some glitter on my lips using the same brush that I used on my eyelids now don't worry babes I did sanitize and I washed off that brush before putting it on other part of my face um, like I said, I feel like that little brush really picks up glitter really good. I think those is called lip brushes, if I'm not mistaken. They're very tiny. They're good to apply lipstick. It's like professional makeup artists use that, like for lipstick or lip gloss or glitter or anything. So yeah, if you babies know where I can get those type of little brushes where I don't have to use the same brush, let a girl know. Now, next is hair. I am going to just uh, redo my little wig that I have on. I love this wig. It's so cute. I wanted a Marilyn Monroe wig. I thought it would look so cute. I have to, um, I have, it has little combs underneath and I like to brush it out to give it that little bounce. Um, I tried to keep the little curls in the front so it can give it more of a, a pinup look. Then I'm spraying it down with a little uh, hairspray. Now I'm taking my Aldo earrings, and you know, babes, I'm so extra. I had to get them. They remind me of uh, How to Marry a Millionaire with Marilyn Monroe in it. And you guys know I adore Marilyn Monroe so much. So, yes, I have put those on. I thought those were so cute. And, yeah, most of my jewelry are is vintage except a few pieces. Yes, babes, that is my glitter look. I tried to make this video very, very small for you, babes. But I wanted to be extra because you guys know I'm so extra as hell when it comes to certain things. I am loving this blonde wig. It is by my homegirl. She is on Instagram. I will link her down in the description box below. But she is amazing when it comes to wigs. So I highly advise you guys, if you guys love vintage retro wigs and you don't want to dye your hair or mess up your real hair, then I advise you to get these type of wigs because they last so long and she can make any type of vintage hairstyle from the 30s to the 60s, 70s and 80s. Like she is amazing. I will link her uh, 
I will link it down below. These jewels are from, um, they're vintage. These were my grandma's, this is my grandmother's and my grandmother's. And this is from Aldo, and I really love these, they're so cute. I will link everything down in the description box below. Yes, I am wearing a corset. Yes, this baby has been giving me issues. <laughs> but I love it. I wanted to do like a pink vintage retro burlesque look for you babes. And I wanted to just, you know, I want to switch it up a bit and look different and stuff. So I hope you babes like it. Took me a while to try to get this right and everything. Oh yeah, and then one more thing I'm forgetting. Um... If you babes want to see anything else or if you babes have any suggestions or anything, let me know in the description box below. I'm welcome to all comments as long as it's coming from a good place and not of hate or meanness. Um, yeah, so please, 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 please subscribe and um, let me know whatever you guys, you know, what else want to see. If, it's not, if it wasn't for you babes, I would not be here like I say in almost every video and I will keep saying it no matter how big or small I am. If it wasn't for you babes, I would not be here. So thank you so much for just, you know, subscribing, hearing me, and watching me sometimes mess up in my videos. You know, it's not a video of mine, but I'll mess up in it. So yeah, thank you so much, and love you babes. Bye.